Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, or if you're a new subscriber or just happen to stumble across, welcome. My name's Jojo, and this is HowStuffInMyCarWorks.com. Today I will be showing you how to change the oil on this 2003 Mini Cooper. This also applies to all R50s. R50 models. Wow, almost lost it there. But this applies to all R50 models that I'm about to show you. So in order to get this job done, you're going to obviously need your oil and your filter and your seal. So this is going to come most likely with your filter. You might also want a pair of glasses and some gloves. I know I'm going to be using them because, you know, me and my manicure, it doesn't really like to get messed up. So here we go. <laughs> okay, so now that I'm laying on my creeper, I'm going to locate the oil drain plug, which is on the bottom of the oil pan, which I'll show you in a second. I also have my 13 millimeter socket and ratchet, and I'm going to go down. The oil drain plug is right here. So, make sure your oil pan is nearby. You can place it directly underneath. You know, obviously you're not going to be under your oil pan. Otherwise, that might be a, a situation. Wow. Okay, so there's the oil pan. And then you're going to hook up your 13 millimeter socket and ratchet, it. And you're going to loosen it. And yeah. And loosen it up. Okay, there we go. And I'm undoing it. And I'm undoing it. Oh, this is really fun. Okay, you get the idea. for dramatic effect. Oh, this is a <laughs> Okay, it's draining! The end! I'll get back to you in a second once I've changed my gloves. Alright, so our oil has finished draining, so we're going to secure the uh, drain plug back on. Going up my glove and down my sleeve. This is really fun, in case anyone was wondering, because you just get oil all over yourself, and you get really, really dirty, and then you're like, cool, because you're awesome for knowing about cars. Oh my goodness, look at that. Do you see this? I'm sure you're all used to it. I'm not. Actually, I totally am. What? And Okay. I think it's secure. Just did a little bit of a mess, but make sure that you slide your oil pan to the right-hand side of your car so that it's under your oil filter. I already did it, but just make sure it's right there. Now that we've reinstalled our oil drain plug, we are now going to change the oil filter, which is located in the back of the engine. You can either use a 35 millimeter socket, or you can use what I'm going to use, which is going to be an adjustable wrench. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that, and adjust it to the size you obviously need it. And we're going to remove the oil filter. And so right down here, it's the blue one. I'm just going to go ahead and secure that on and push it this way. Again, I didn't realize how messy this was going to be because you're going to have to grab the um, filter cap with your hands. So I put some gloves on and I, go, I went ahead and um, loosened it more. So just when you're done loosening it, just throw your wrench to the side. I also grabbed a piece of paper or napkin or towel or whatever because it's going to drip everywhere when you pull out the filter. And uh, just make sure you have an oil pan nearby. Mine's right to my left. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull it out so you can see. Okay. Do you see this here? Because I'm loosening it. Oh, and there goes the dripping. So you're also going to remove that, but I'm just going to take this off because it's dripping everywhere. Snaps out. I'm just going to wipe it down really quick with my nifty little napkin. And then I grabbed a pick, and I'm just going to slide off this old seal. If I can, pull it off. <laughs> Did you see that? Okay. 
Um, then we're going to probably do the seal first. So that'd be smart. Open your bag, grab your other seal, slide it on. And it goes on the outer part, in case you didn't notice, all the way at the bottom rung. And then fit your, uh, there we go, into your uh, filter cap. Ta-da! In order to not damage your new seal, you're going to, this is actually a newer bottle, so it's at the top, but you're just going to drip some oil on the seal so that it doesn't get messed up. And uh, that's about it. So, finish tightening it with your hand, and once you think it's pretty secure, just go ahead and grab your wrench and finish tightening it so it's just really, really snug. So now that you put your oil filter back on, we're going to remove the oil cap and add your oil. I went ahead and grabbed a funnel so that I can start adding oil to my engine. Funnel's in place. And uh, go ahead and start pouring it. This is fun. So you're not going to add your entire bottle just yet. You're going to add about four quarts. Then you're going to put your bottle to the side. Make sure you put your oil cap back on, remove your funnel and your napkin if you have one, and then you're going to check your engine. So you're going to turn it on and then you're going to turn it just for a few seconds and you're going to turn it off. Then you're going to get on your handy little creeper, slide under your car and check if there's any leakage happening. If everything's good, then you can lower your car to the ground. I, um, and then you can continue adding the oil, you know, take the cap back off, you know the drill, and uh, you should be good to go. And check your oil levels, obviously, because that's necessary. Okay? Okay, so obviously I'm not going to show you all of what I just explained because I think you get the gist of it. But I am going to finish up after I say my goodbyes here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I obviously enjoyed it. I have so much fun doing these videos for you guys. and. Uh, yeah, I will be back, I promise. It probably won't be like another six months. It might be in a couple weeks, so hang tight. We'll see. But thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share our videos. And uh, see you next time. Happy holidays, everyone, and Happy New Year. Cool deal. Peace, yo, peace. <laughs> and that is a wrap. Bye.